Well, folks, I haven't posted any Dia videos for quite some time. But as you can see in front of you, it wasn't because I didn't have anything to show. I did not want to post these Dia videos until after the shotgun season was over. The shotgun deer season ended last Saturday, and the only hunting allowed between now and the end of December is with primitive arms. So I think the deer stand a pretty good chance of surviving. What you are looking at here are a group of five does. We have had a good amount of does both singly and in groups, but this group of five, three good sized does and two yearlings have been consistently under the cameras. This shot you're looking at right now is from a new camera location that I hadn't previously used. Uh, prior to installing this camera at this location, I had two other cameras out here by the apple trees and uh, we took quite a few pictures from those. I uh, added this third camera to give it a little bit better perspective and we really got some uh, pretty good pictures. As you can see uh, you're looking pretty much just on at Bond Street right at the front of my house. With this new camera location we now have three views in a small area. This video is a compilation of shots taken on these three cameras from about December 1st through last night. The video is long, about 11 minutes. If you get bored with the video or can't stand the sound of my voice, shut it off. But if you watch it, I think you'll find that it's very interesting. There's some wonderful shots and some uh, spectacular deer, especially when we get to the bucks in a couple of seconds. If you watch close, in a couple of seconds is a very cute shot. It's almost as if one of the little skippers is kissing his mother. Um, again, it's quite nice. As I said earlier, we've had some single does come and sometimes a pair. But this group of five have uh, been consistently together and uh, for the past couple of weeks. They've been pretty uh, regular visitors as a group and uh, they all seem pretty good and healthy. Well folks, where the does congregate you are eventually going to find bucks. And did we find some bucks? Um, as you can see right now we get a nice little eight pointer show up. Boy he looks pretty big but he's looking around, he's looking around and if you look real close you'll see a set of eyeballs. Now that eight pointer looks big but he's going to look back here in a second. And again, see the eyeballs coming? This guy gets scared. The big granddaddy's coming. Now this guy coming out of the woods is an eight-pointer and a half. Friday night, December 12th, we had six different bucks come to the cameras. This is the night before the last day of the shotgun season. I'm going to shut my mouth and just show you uh, the six bucks in um, ascending order as they came. Here they are, six bucks from smallest to biggest.
try to give you a perspective on the size of these deer, I am showing you three deer from the same camera angle. The small four-pointer, the medium eight-pointer, and the huge eight-pointer. This eight-point deer is the largest deer I've ever caught on any of my game cameras. This guy's got to be well over 200 pounds. Look at the size of that neck. Look at how big he is. His legs look short. This deer is actually huge. The next few shots show the bucks feeding together. Some of the shots are quite good. The bucks seem to get along fairly well considering the fierce competition for the does. Well, folks, this is going to be our last video for 2014. To end, we'll show you our six bucks again. As they amble off, let's hope that they and we make it through the winter. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and we'll see you in 2015. That's all, folks.